You're watching One Go Online Television, Sierra Leone, the new online connectivity hub. You're watching One Go Online Television, Sierra Leone, the new online connectivity hub. You're watching One Go Online Television, Sierra Leone, the new online connectivity hub. You're watching One Go Online Television, Sierra Leone, the new online connectivity hub. And welcome to Global Talk on Amaze TV. Well, Amaze TV is in partnership with One Go Television and, of course, Kato TV. I am your host, Willie Maya Nakuku. Well, uh, on, Go on Global Talk today, we'll have an exclusive interview on current happenings around the world. And, of course, the corona pandemic that is sweeping away thousands of people around the globe. We're going to have exclusive interviews on that. Well, let's have a short break and of course we'll be right back. Sierra Leone, the new online connectivity hub. You're watching One Go Online Television, Sierra Leone, the new. Amaze TV. Don't forget you can catch us on Facebook, YouTube, and other social media platforms. All right. Uh, so um, tonight I am honored to have guests from uh, around the world, the United Arab Emirates. And then, of course, we have DJ Pico and uh, Dr. Prince from Kuwait and PRC. Uh, uh, Faisal, uh, he is the news director from Dubcatel TV. Hello and welcome to Global Talk. Hello and uh, good DJ evening. Pico. Yeah. Good evening. Uh, it's good to have you. Thank you very much, and uh, it's a, it's my pleasure also. Yeah, so um, the Prince, what is going on exactly in Kuwait right now? Because we all know the Corona thing is 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 you know it's rather unfortunate. We cannot do anything as a people, but um, we want to know what's happening in Kuwait as at now. Hello, good evening. Hello. I'm Doctor Prince. Um, Yeah, well, actually, uh, Dr. Prince is presently in Kuwait, and uh, I think Dr. Prince will give you the update directly from Kuwait, and I will be giving you the update directly from Freetown. Okay, DJ Pico, anything from Freetown? All right, okay, thank you very much. And um, for short, and, uh, my name is DJ Pico. Um, my actual full name is uh, Pico James Cissé. And uh, but for short, DJ Pico, and also I'm the station manager for Cateria Reels Online Television based in Kuwait. But presently, I'm in Freetown, you know, because of uh, this whole uh, pandemic uh, that is affecting the world. I'm in Freetown for like a vacation, so I happen to get trapped down because of this whole <laughs> problem. Because, yeah, uh, actually, yeah. Uh, for now, actually, okay, so Freetown as Yes, go ahead. So, um, what is the current state of Freetown? 
because we're hearing a lot of news going on and um just yesterday the president has announced that, that one of the securities was tested positive coronavirus going on in well that information is actually correct and uh for freetown in particular we have registered as of now today we have registered 61 new cases that is confirmed cases and also and uh, we are also observing two weeks lockdown we already finished one week we are now coming towards the ending and uh, yesterday we have a press release from the president and uh, retired brigadier julius madabio uh, saying that one of his uh, officers has tested positive and that one is a big concern also for us as a citizen because the big the big question here is we are exactly the security officer got contact this virus that's the big question yeah it's a very big question because you know as a security you know uh they are prone to a lot of exposure you know yes and uh from the statements of the president he also said clearly that he and his family they are all okay they are they are good and uh but uh, according to uh one of the bbc reporter which is Umaru Fufana, and on his Facebook, it's a post that uh, the, the president will be going for a two weeks self quarantine. So, well, that is a problem because looking at the statement from the president, it's actually said that they have gone through a two weeks quarantine. After the two weeks, that is the time when they got one of their and uh, security personnel test positive. So this is the thing that is playing in the minds of the people because the media is saying this and the president is saying another thing. So we don't know. Well, which it, of is, it is actually, yeah, it is actually a good thing that we got it from the president himself confirming that he and his family are safe and that they are not, I mean, uh, I'm faced with any signs of coronavirus. That is actually a good news. Yes, of course, it's a good news. It's a good news. But and, uh, as of now, we, we, we actually need to do more because, see, since we started uh, from day one, we started recording the first case, it's not up to uh, one month. We have now already started 61 case. So this is a big, big problem for us as a citizen. As we know, as yeah. Africans, the way we used to Gloucester, so this is a very big concern and also yesterday there is a press release also that whenever someone wants to go outside and want to go to public area you must make sure that you use your uh, face mask you know which is also very very good but we don't know what will be the outcome because now as we are registering more cases we don't know maybe we are going to have a complete lockdown because that is what some people are actually advising the president to do yes um it is necessary i mean i think the government the only the president should do whatever they can you know to make sure our people are safe you know it's not easy what is going on around the world look at what is going on there so i think the people need to give their support to the government uh you know the right thing can be done yes that is what we are expecting but as you know for we as Sierra unions we have so many people who are lawless people because even when it comes to the past three days lockdown there are so many people with so many issues that are complaining of course they need water some don't have food some actually don't want to stay home for just even two days they will be going out roaming around you know and which is very bad because we know these things uh the coronavirus can get through you if you happens to be moving up and down the street just like that visiting people 
And, and uh, you know, when you look at the daily activity of some of our people, they actually, they don't have enough money for them to save, for them to have their daily bread, except they have to go out on a daily basis for them to go and have their uh, daily bread. That's the big problem that is uh, disturbing the, the, the less privileged in this country presently. Okay, uh, what can you say about uh, the people themselves living in Freetown? Are there any rising tensions uh, because of the news that the president's security are uh, positive? Well, actually, like I earlier said, the uh, big concern for us because uh, um, if a security guard, which is uh, part of the, the the, 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 state, the state security guard has tested positive. It's a concern because, you know, they are around the president and also these guys are moving around big vaults and um, in ministry. So we don't know what will be the impact, the, out, the outcoming from that uh, particular one case that already tested positive. That's the big fear. You know, so many people have concerns. Yeah, yeah. Some are saying, oh, oh, God, God help our country, God help the president. You know, because the, the, the big thing with this uh, coronavirus is from what we learn from the, the medical people, they are actually telling us that this sickness can transfer even we have not yet uh, started showing signs and symptoms, and which is very bad. That's why they they are advising us to make sure we wash our hands with soap and water and uh, also make sure you use face masks, you know, try to bring this uh, precaution mentioned to us so that we can be using them. And uh, who knows what will be the next step? Yeah, so, yeah, so DJ Pico, my next question will be, are the people actually complying to this? precautions given by the health practitioners? Well, for sure, I will tell you, not all the people that are complying to that, uh, what the health practitioners are saying. Because I take a walk, one of those days, I go um, around my community, which is Godrich community. I try to see um, the market area and the park, the main park we are, we used to board transport. What I saw was really not encouraging for me, actually, because you see a lot of people grossed together, and which is very, very bad. If somebody having the virus just pass in between those people, remember there are so many people that we contact that virus, and it's very, very bad. And sadly, there are so many ways one can contract this virus without even knowing. Of course. All right, I'll be back. Uh, back over to you, DJ Pico. Uh, I wanted to okay. Dr. Prince live from Kuwait. Hello, Dr. Prince. Hello, good evening. I'm Dr. Welcome Prince. Welcome to Global Talk. Yeah, thank you. So what is the situation now in Kuwait? Because I hear a lot of development going on. Yeah, the situation in Kuwait is not as stable, but um, the government is trying to do its best to see that uh, things come to normality. But as of now, the total um, confirmed cases are between 248. And the new confirmed cases today is 168. And the active cases are 1,729 and um, 443 recovered and 13 dead. And um, according to um, the health practitioners in Kuwait here, um, it has been scheduled today and um, by nationality as um, the case may be. Um, the Kuwait nationals, the affection rate is... Um, minimal not compared to uh, the other nationality 
for the quit for the Kuwaiti nationals is um 362 total um confirmed cases for the Kuwait nationals um the bangladesh nationals in Kuwait here is um 160 total um the egyptian nationals is um 159 total and um the indian nationals is 1169 which is the highest within uh the Kuwait uh, city here and um the moroccans you have one yemen also one um uh one cameroonian being confirmed um bangladesh one uh the united kingdom also have one case here and um, the chinese also have two cases um iraqi also have two cases spanish also have three cases uh Afghanistan, three cases. Uh, Bangladesh, the Bangladesh also have another three cases, which are pending cases. The U.S. states of America, four confirmed cases. Uh, Palestine, five confirmed cases. Uh, um, so on and so forth. So uh, that's the total for uh, Kuwait as of now. And then presently, the Kuwait government as is still locked down and um, restricts some areas from movement especially the mabula area where i am um, as of today we have 15 buildings which are under quarantine and um, another one building has been added this evening that's around the total to six so so far so good um, the government is trying to put in place things that will see that um, they try to combat uh, the situation but the infection rate is increasing rapidly as it is it started with one case and now we are talking about thousands and um, the death is within 13 so so far so good um, the the Kuwait government is trying their best to, to see that um, people recover and go back home um, within the lockdown situation we saw we are in um, the Kuwait government is trying as best as possible again to provide food for um, residents within the lockdown community especially Mabula where I am now and um, other areas within the municipality so about the foreigners staying in Kuwait are there any tensions well, um, yes, there is, because um, during this particular period, um, the Kuwait government has tried as best as possible to institute um, the amnesty program for those who uh, residency have expired, for those who uh, are violators of residency, for them to go back home for a free, of course, without paying charges. As um, the announcement was made, um last month and uh, the whole process will start on the, has already starts on the first of april and it will continue on to the 30th of april other nationals who have left the country um has not reported tension as of now but um nationals and other nationals are also complying to the rules and regulation given by the government as uh, we are under lockdown at the same time a curfew has been implemented has been in game so these two things are ongoing and um, people are still trying to see how they can manage the situation even though it's not that easy and presently businesses are closed down um, no uh, effective work and all the rest of it so um, the situation is just that seldom and um, the officials are doing their job effectively and efficiently efficiently to see that they try to create uh, this particular situation all right um quickly dr prince um uh, would you like to general on what the enemy would um uh, would look like during and after this whole corona saga um looking at the situation and uh, the amnesty being being given by the Kuwait government we are looking at a uh, situation to be calm within the next two to three months and um, by god's will if the situation come back to normality 
um, there will be a lot of opportunities for us that come in Kuwait for a greener pasture and also the Kuwait nationals because um, the government of Kuwait is trying to put things in place for a better tomorrow because um, all what we are preaching there is life after Corona and exactly that's what we are looking up to. As of um, yesterday, there has been an update on the social media that um, 6,000 jobs available, you know, in the state of Kuwait. So in that, in that case, it tells you that there is life after um, the coronavirus. So um, we are just trying to see how we can comply to the rules and regulations. And um, people are really trying to see how they can comply to stay home. And um, the cartel are with online FM. The only credible source of information for Africans in the state of Kuwait is also trying their best to see how they can disseminate information within the Africa community and to see how they can edit on the, um, the things that they, the do's and don'ts of um, the advices coming from the health practitioners. And 80% um, of the cartel staff are Sierra Leoneans and um, they have a vast knowledge over um, the Ebola epidemic, which has stuck uh, their country way back in 2014 so they are using that to see how they can share within the the, the states of kuwait um, also to educate others based on the views and domes on what to do what not to do them how to practice um, the wash hand the washing of hands the using of the face masks and also how to use the hand sanitizer and how to uh, um, also to avoid crowded places because um, it has been a norm or a tradition for people going out, meeting in a different point. But this time around, because of um, the coronavirus, we try as um, the, the, the cartel here with online earthen is trying as best as possible to see how they bring up um, dramas, skits, and all the rest of it for just to showcase and give out information that has to do with the stay at home and the washing of hands and the use of hands and the washing of hands you know regularly to the people that are staying within the municipality all right thank you to friends I'll, uh, I'll be back uh, but DJ Pico uh, I'd like to know what's the latest uh, you know for the health workers in the country as a whole I heard that the latest developments by the Ministry of Health and Sanitation uh, thank you very much, actually. And um, for the health workers, they are really trying their level best. But uh, they have some concerns that they want to uh, look into some of those concerns and then they will see how best they can try to fight against this uh, epidemic. You know, and um, to be in the front line, it means a lot. You know, before this time we have the Ebola, we know what happened to some of our people who are in the front line. Some actually, they asked them out from the house that they used to, to leave because when they notice that you're working in this type of place, the landlord will just tell you, you know what, you, do, you will not come and kill my people, you know, just leave my house and go. And that is also what's, what are some of the issues that are coming up presently. So, and... Um, the, the, the nurses actually they need some backup support for them to go into the fight. Okay, thank you so much for joining me. Well, viewers, this is uh, Global Talk. I am Willie Minabuku, your host. We're going to have a short music break, and I'll be right back. The bad news is that everyone is a potential victim. But the good news is that everyone is a potential solution. Sensitize the masses to sanitize. Keep a social distance and quarantine. Stop! The coronavirus is sweeping over mankind. Everybody must be alert. It's a global pandemic we can never take for granted. We are moving in the moon. We are moving in the moon. We are moving in the moon. 
Samange Kila mutu must be a lot Is a matter of life We can never take for granted Tudio moye veremo Discipline and personal hygiene And make sure you regularly Wash your hands Keep a distance from everyone Report anything like a simple tomb Serious fever is a simple tomb Dry cough is a simple tomb Walk with Tamula is a simple tomb Eyes and through is a Take them do the right thing, you go end up six feet deep. So long people, them moon all we wake up. This is all the message from the well body people, them protect your life, protect your life. Take it to the message, we go save your life, yo. January, me na the Minister of Health and Sanitation. We they see big, big trouble they happen at the rest of the world. But we're not afraid. We're not afraid because we don't get an exposure before. We make we don't learn and no waiting for them. I have strong belief in the resilience of the people of Sierra Leone. We say they ask of we, and for make we they wash with hands all the time. Because now you hand, they bring dirty na you eye, you nose, you mouth, all them open them na you face. And now with the virus, they pass to your body. We family, them. My name is Bishop J. Archibald Cole, one of the religious leaders in this country. When I don't hear how this coronavirus move from what people their life. And they appeal to now. When I listen to government and all the well body people then when they talk to we. They could follow all the advice and the rules and the regulation so it could be better for we all. God bless we all. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Yaman, assalamu alaikum. 
Me na Sheikh Abu Bakar Conte. Islam na religion of submission and compliance. Priya, we the appeal to we all. For let we comply the rules and regulations with the Ministry of Health and Sanitation. Give let Allah bless we all. Just the kill posting, avoid the plenty shit can and they keep comping. Corona no get magazine for ill posting. Now that me for the talk can they sing something. So prevent them. What's you and decent one? Every day new case, recent one. In the pack, it is hard, recent one. So corona no can kill with recent one. Now for the what's you and regularly. We soak the water. Not touch you eyes, your nose and your mouth. With your dirty hand, you get one life for live. Take it ten ways they do the things they they do, making all leg by you. On the for real, COVID 19 they kill, and that's the real deal. So take your ten ways they chill. This no to ten for the act stubborn. Social media lies go put you on trouble. Don't be dumb. Sister, I need overload you. Hey, brother, they want a small picking there. No, can't give me trouble. Government saying that two passengers they no more for take. Okay, go. We they go that one just now. The family then, me a retired Brigadier Judith Madabio, the President of the Republic of Sierra Leone. By now, we all don't know about this new sick, when a coronavirus. And this sick don't turn the world upside down with fraud. But me, I'm not afraid. Because we na people then, we think not the broke down easily. And government don't do bokuti for test for them. Well, we've all heard the messages, you know, wash your hands, maintain social distance, and of course, avoid wavering. All right, so quickly, I'll be moving over to you, Faisal. Hello, Faisal. Hello. All right, we're trying to get our Faisal online. Well, Dr. Prince. For Tapam, we all know say this coronavirus na bad bad thing. So what thing we all need for do? One for what we and them all ten. Two may we tap for shake and force. Three may we not gather poku na one place. If we all make up we mind for do the thing there, I mean for keep to the health regulations them, we no go get anything for free. Do you hear me fambo them? At the big, may we keep the message here now we add. For if we forget well, but the autumn, make we all join and for wrap the iron way out. I tell you, plenty, plenty thanks for my attention. May God bless you all. May God bless the state of New York has been hit hard with more than 44,000 confirmed cases of coronavirus. The outbreak of coronavirus in Italy has surged by 919 in a single day. The rapid global spread of the coronavirus poses great risk to human life and can cause enormous socioeconomic disruption in Sierra Leone.
I wake up one morning and all over the news I start firing about this deadly virus Corona don't take so many lives And it just the spread every day and night They say when you shake and eat the transfer They say when you cough and sneeze eat the transfer They say when you... Oh, so I'd like to go back to our guests So that they can, you know, uh give final words hello dr prince hello hello yes so what will be your final statements you know um in time this? um looking at how situation is unfolding uh, in the state of point uh, my advice continues to be the same that um africans in kuwait and also kuwait nationals and other nationals in the state of kuwait should continue to adhere to the rules and regulations given by the kuwait government as they are trying their level best to see how they can combat the situation and um people who try as best as possible to see how we can avoid unnecessary gathering and altering of these masks when going out because the cases are increasing every other day because especially the indian national because um indian nationals have got above half of what um, the total is so in that case we are trying we are in that case we are trying our best to see if we can sensitize our, our fellow Africans and the state of Kuwait and also other nationals that can idea to the, the rules and regulations that prevent us here in Kuwait. And also, so broad advice going to everyone in the world, no matter where, where you are, try as best as possible to see how you can adhere to the rules and regulation given by the government where you are and also um, people also avoid using information from the social media us in kuwait here cartel airwave online fm has been the, the only source of information and a credible source of information for africans so they should stay tuned and stay glued to their to their um the radio and television and um, listen to cartel Yawib at all times accurate because we have seen situation we are in different nationals have got after different things has happened because of false information and then people should not rely on false information spreading around the social media so in that case i'm advising that um, people should cartel Yawib online to fm as of today, we have um, today they have the ambassador in Kuwait given a statement concerning um, the, the the coronavirus on the preventive measures that um, people should adhere to. Based on all the information that we have been given, she try as best as possible to echo some of this information again, so that um, people will adhere to what is happening and um, how people can support themselves based on what is happening now. As the Kuwait government is trying as best as possible to put things in place for things to unfold early as possible, because um, the the government has also tried to see how they can talk to um, the the housing within the municipality that um, for this three months people uh, should not try anything that um, has to do with harassment for the payment of housing and all other things that surround um, housing so in that case uh, people are just indoors and see how um, the things are unfolding but the cases are increasing within um, the indian nationals so so far so good um, i would advise people to stay to stay indoors stay focused and continue to listen to cartel airwave online fm as we bring you um programs that will help keep you and keep you more indoors as the Kuwait government is trying to curb this particular epidemic. Yeah, thank you very much. I think it is very timely, you know, for people to be at home. 
and stay in those. Yeah. Yes, DJ Pico. Yeah. What do you for us? Yes, Wilmina, thank you very much, actually. And um, my piece of advice, firstly, I think it's going to be broken. If you are in the government, make sure you try to provide at least more building centers. Because before this time, the moment the cases started from one, we are seeing the cases are now rising like this. For us to have more holding center, we are in the for it to be treating people, you know, and uh, cases are coming out from the rural area and also from the western urban. The cases are coming very, very seriously, and this is a concern because these are the most populated area in the free town, you know. So it's better for the government to act fast now and see how they can. Uh, construct some more and a treatment center and also there is some crisis also here in terms of water because and uh, the guma valley needs to do more when it comes to water because you know they said water is life actually people are really straining for water even when we have the three days lockdown that is some of the reason that, that led people that's out of their houses that caused problem for them together with the police and the soldiers and uh, if they don't try to fix this problem believe me people will not try to listen to what the government saying you know we have people that actually are living in some area for them to have water except they have to walk like something like two miles off for them to come and get some water and that is what they use daily basis so if they don't try to increase water to some of these places then it will not be very easy for them to adhere, adhere to and uh, what the, the president will be saying, you know. And uh, yeah. I'm also advising my, my fellow Sierraleans for us to make sure we take the precaution measures. And uh, one, we need to stay home, make sure you wash your hands regularly, even if it's in your house. You need to have the Vainuka bucket so that. Um, You'll be using this bucket whenever you have stranger let the person go and wash his hands you know it's very very good because you don't know the status of the person that is coming to you your your place in fact what i want to say don't even encourage and a stranger for now as it is presently because imagine when you look at the population you of the people that are in the golf course and alone to go and buy food stuff, it's really very serious. Because today, mountain area, they have eight confirmed cases, and it's really serious. You know, it's really serious. Yeah, I think I want you to, to throw light on quickly before we say goodbye. You know, uh, a lot of people are having concerns over uh, by military and the police during the lockdown. You know, a lot of people were beating and stuff like that. Looking at it from a humanitarian point of view, what would be your take? Well, actually, for me, I want to say that's... Uh, the act by the police and the, the soldier, the I want to say, is completely correct. Because there is a human right law. Also, if you find somebody wanted for uh, a particular crime, I think you need to take the person to the police station so that the person will go and make a statement. You either charge him to the court so that he can go and pay the fine or what the court might decide. But for you to pick up a stick or either a cane or maybe other thing to hit somebody, in case, for instance, you hit the person and the person fall down and die, what will you say? That is the big question. So thank you so much for joining us today on Global Talk. Thank you very much, Ulimana. Thank you very much, Ulimana. All right, viewers, uh, thank you for tuning in to Amivi. Know that this is a new show and it's called Global Talk.
Global Talk is going to be on, on Sundays from 5 to 6 p.m. Make sure you tune in on time. And please don't forget to give us thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel. You can follow us on YouTube, Facebook, and other social media platforms. I have been your host, Willy Maina Guku. Until next time, goodbye.